Hey man, in this video, I'm gonna show you three unique skills you must develop with your wife or girlfriend to get her to go from checked out, emotionally distant, wanting to end it all, even seeing another guy, well, to this. At least had sex like three times that night. <laughs> and then, legit, it's been every night since then. When Brett first came into my marriage mastery program, his wife was seeing another man openly about it. She was checked out and she was ready to completely end the marriage and be done with it all. My wife was at the point where she was done with me and she was at that time talking to another guy because she had, her, her words, you know, checked out of our marriage. Actually a guy here in town referred me to the yes. program. So I joined and now, now I have my wife back. So the question is, how did Brett go from all of that to just 28 days later, having sex with his wife multiple days in a row, getting her to want to work on the marriage happy again. Let's go over the top three things he did to win her back. The first thing is that he led her heart. Now, what does this mean? Now look, most men, when the wife pulls away, she wants divorce, it hurts. It's a type of betrayal, right? Now, if Brett waited like most other men do who lose their wife, for his wife to give him a sign to show that the marriage was worth working out, she would have ended it all. But because Brett took the idea that I taught him through the Marriage Mastery Program, that the feminine follows and the masculine leads, when he sat down with her to have that crucial conversation, he said right off the bat what he wanted, that he wanted to work in the marriage and he was gonna do everything in his power, despite everything that happened, to make it work out. The reason why this is so important to a woman is because, look, women want devotion. They wanna know that they can make mistakes, that they can pretty much F up and still have you be there for them. That's why men are considered this rock, this shore when you're in your healthy masculine that a woman can lean on and rely on for safety because that is her most important emotional need she has from you. And if you don't lead first, you are taking a hurt feminine approach and she doesn't feel safe with you. So therefore she'll leave you. You led, right? You took the leadership yep. role. You're like, I, I know what I want and I'm going to express what I want. Instead of a lot of guys will wait for their wife's approval before they decide to put themselves out there because they don't want to get hurt. Yep. Like if she, yep. if she's going to leave me, then I'm going to protect myself and I'm not going to tell her that I want to work this out. But if you let her do that, she would have, it would have been over. Exactly. Yep. The second thing Brett did was what I call forgiveness frees the soul. Now I want you to imagine that you build up this house and all this house, all the top, the roof, the walls, the windows, everything about the house is communication skills, conflict skills, emotional processing, understanding your wife, everything you need to make a relationship work, except the foundation is how you feel toward your wife. Now the thing is, is if you don't forgive your wife for the things she's done, that's like this corrosive acid seeping through the foundation. And eventually, even if you say all the right words to your wife and you try to use all the right actions to make it work out, if she senses any resentment, your whole relationship will fall apart. So here's how this plays out. If you're having a conversation with your wife and you're using all the skills I teach on this channel, but deep down you say one wrong word with the wrong tone, she will latch onto that one word and the whole conversation will have a negative tone and a negative emotional investment in her subconscious brain. That's why it is so important that you forgive her first. When you forgive her and completely understand why she did what she did because of your behavior, that serves to remove the acid, have that titanium steel foundation, and she sees that your intentions are pure, that you're making these changes for yourself and to be a better man in the relationship. The third thing Brett did was he took extreme ownership through the CLC reports. Now these CLC reports are what I use in my marriage mastery program to show your wife that these changes are legitimate. See, the biggest problem when men start to make changes when their wife wants divorce or separation is she thinks you're manipulating her or that the changes won't last. However, what I found is that when you use a closed loop change report through my marriage mastery program, that conveys these changes in a way that makes her believe that they are permanent and long lasting. Therefore, she trusts you again. So the CLC reports, I think, is actually what showed her the most. You know, I, I wrote down all the core issues and I made those into CLC reports and gave them to her, you know, one a week and showed her that, OK, this is what I'm working on. This is what I'm changing. And then made those changes, did the work. Now, if you want a chance to join our Marriage Mastery Program and have us guide you through the CLC reports ourselves to set the exact conversation you can have with your wife to convey to her that these changes are long lasting, to turn the table, to get her to want to work on the marriage or relationship again, what you can do right now is click the link down below, set up a free call with our marriage evaluator, make sure you fill out the application and you are serious because we have limited spots available each week. Check out this video right here, smash the like button and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.